To understand the nature of the Shemona Esrei that we dive in every single day, it's important to remember that the halacha differentiates the first three and the last three brachot from the brachot that come in the middle. And that in the following way. In Siman Kuf Yutet, Se'if Aleph. The Shulchan Aruch says in Ratzalo Sif, Bekol bracha me'em tzayot, me'ena bracha mosif. Each of the brachot in the middle of Shemona Esrei is a topic, is one of the things that concerns us and our existence in the world. If you find that you'd like to say a particular prayer within the context or the topic of the paragraph that you are saying, that is permitted and you are allowed to add to that bracha. For example, the Shulchan Aruch says, Hayalo chole mevakesh alav rachamim bebirkat rifa'enu. Even though we say Rafa'enu Hashem Bene Rafe, which is beseeching God for good health and a cure for the sick. Nevertheless, the Shulchan Aruch says, if there is a particular person that you know of who is sick and needs a particular refuah, a particular kind of support, then it is permitted to add his name or add this request or beseech God about this matter in the bracha that begins with the word rifa'in. The Primigodim adds, quoted by the Mishnah Bura, Davka im hayalo. It's got to be somebody who is close to you. V'chein beparnasa. Also, if we're speaking of of um, financial benefit, dafka im tzarich leparnasa. Aval eno rashay levakesh rachamim bebracha meemtsa iot al haetid sheilo yechle velo yechsa lachmo uvehai ukehai gavna. The Mishnah Berurah says categorically, it is not permitted to say in the bracha of Rifa'enu. Uh, I wish that no one ever gets sick. Or the beginning, uh, the bracha, Barech Aleinu, I hope that no one will ever need more than they actually earn. In other words, the request has to be about a real matter, about something that is really happening now. But the Primi Godem, quoted by the Mishnah Brewer, continues and says, Masha ein kein b'shomea tefila. The last of the middle brachot in the Shemona Esrei is shomea tefila. It's a general wrap-up kind of bracha, beseeching God to take heed of our tefila. So he says, in the bracha called shomea tefila, afilu al ha'atid rashai levakesh. A person is allowed to ask about the future. Oh, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, let there be no more sick. Let there be no more poor and impoverished, even including uh, the future. So that we see that the Shemona Esrei, as defined by the Halakha, does not limit my interest or my ability to beseech God about things that are happening in the surrounding world. However, I've got to do it within the context of the rules set down by the Shulchan Aruch. I'm allowed to add to the bracha that I say in the Shemona Esri a particular prayer about a particular person, a particular event. I add them within the context of the brachot as I say the brachot. Rifa'enu, good health, I add a specific prayer about somebody's good health. But I cannot add a general prayer about health in the future. However, in Shema Koleinu, the last bracha of Shmona Esrei, 
I can even beseech God about the future in general terms, about what might be, and that's the difference so that the Shemona Esrei includes the general prayer, the particular prayer, the prayer for the now and the prayer for the future, divided up, of course, as the Shulchan Aruch demands of us.